students in this video we are going to discuss about the water potential now so what is this water potential so you all know about and um, generally what is potential uh, it is an energy to do certain kind of activities now likewise here the energy possessed by water molecule it is called as water potential it is indicated in this kind of a symbol so you all know about trisul so it, which is the which is considered as the uh, weapon of uh, amman so now likewise this is the symbol it is not that kind of a weapon it is considered as the psi so psi psi so which is uh, considered as the water potential this water potential is has been represented as psi w okay so this trisul like structure it is considered as psi okay so now water potential is represented as psi w understood now greater the concentration of water greater is the kinetic energy now if the concentration of water is so high then what is happening the kinetic energy is also it is also so high so what is kinetic energy the energy that is possessed by a water molecule to move freely inside a solution that is called as kinetic energy of water now greater the concentration of water if the water concentration is so high then the kinetic energy also will be so high now the pure water so what is a pure water it is nothing but a distilled water which we will be using at the chemistry lab and as well as in the biology lab so it it is so free from ions there is no any kind of solutant solutes has been mixed so that's why this pure water has greatest water potential which is zero so in pure water the uh, has the pure water that is the distilled water has so high water potential so it is equal to zero the water potential of pure water is equal to zero understood now if you add solute so if you add certain kind of solute for example if you are dissolving certain kind of salt or any kind of uh, sugar to the water solution pure water what will happen so now i am adding salt so now this salt will get dissolved inside the pure water and it will just decrease as the water potential the pure water of the uh, pure water potential will get decreased when you add certain type, uh, certain type of solute so if we add solute to the pure water then the water potential is starting to decreases okay understood now in case of solution what is a solution so when some ions or solutes added to the pure water it becomes the solution so when salt is added a salt is a solute and pure water is the solvent so while if you are adding more amount of solutes or any kind of ions to the uh, pure water it is becoming a solution so now in case of solution what is happening the water potential is becoming negative so now what is the how this water potential is controlled by uh, by certain kind of things so what are these two things so one is the solute potential and next one is the pressure potential so now this solute potential is indicated as so psi s so what it is indicated it is indicated as psi s how the water potential is indicated as uh, uh, psi w no like likewise solute potential is indicated as psi s and the pressure potential is indicated as psi p so that is the pressure potential so now we are going to see about how this solute potential as well as the pressure potential is going to affect the water potential now the presence of solute in the solution will always decreases the water potential we have already discussed in the earlier uh, in uh, while we are discussing about all this when solute is added in the pure water what is happening automatically step by step slowly the water potential is starting to decrease so likewise here when the presence of solute in the solution will always decreases the water potential so therefore here the solute potential will always be negative please understand the situation why the solute pot uh, solute potential is always negative because so the solute present in the pure water or in case of a solution will is always decreasing the 
water potential so that's why here the solute potential will be always negative if a water potential is getting decreased by any kind of a uh, phenomenon then that phenomenon is considered as a negative okay understood so now here as the solute is always when it is getting dissolved is decreasing the water potential so the solute potential is always become negative the next one is pressure potential so due to osmotic entry of water to the system this pressure potential is classified into two types one is the positive hydrostatic pressure and the next one is negative hydrostatic pressure so how this pressure is influencing the water potential here you all know that so when uh, uh, when water is entering into the cell membrane so for example so wait a minute so listen here so here the water is entering into the cell membrane so consider this as the cell membrane so now the cell membrane is a selectively permeable membrane so this water is entering only through osmosis process so only through osmosis process what is osmosis process the transfer of the transportation of liquid or water from higher concentration to lower concentration through semi permeable membrane so that is called as osmosis so now when this water is entering into the cell the cell will absorb the water and it begin begins to swell so that swelling is considered that swelling is considered as a turgor so what is it called so turgor pressure okay so now just uh, listen here now the positive hydrostatic pressure is nothing but the turgor pressure so the turgor pr pressure is nothing but when water enters into the cell it starts to swell so it starts to swell so that's why so it is mentioned as a pressure created there is considered as a turgor pressure so what is meant by turgor uh, it is nothing but swelling up so inflating okay so now this kind of a turgor pressure will always possess the positive hydrostatic pressure it will always possess the positive hydrostatic pressure now when the water when uh, water uh, pressure potential will be negative so uh, this case in this case so in negative hydrostatic pressure when water is leaving from the cell for example so uh, when the water is just leaving from the cell membrane so what is happening there so an active transport is involved here so from the lower concentration it is reaching to the higher concentration so here only negative pressure so the hydrostatic pressure will be negative so where it can be absorbed so again i am repeating here so when uh, this hydrostatic pressure will become negative when the water is leaving from a cell system so then the hydrostatic pressure will become negative mostly where we can observe this kind of a negative hydrostatic pressure when the plant system is uh, so mostly in a plant system negative hydrostatic pressure is seen in xylem so how this xylem uh, so we can see in the xylem how we can see the negative hydrostatic pressure so because the water is lost by transpiration so through transpiration the the water that is present in the xylem is getting evaporated and uh, it is causing the phenomenon called transpiration so through that the excess of water is getting transpired so that's why so here certain amount of water is getting left from the xylem so that's why it is called as transpiration and it is possessing uh, the negative hydrostatic pressure okay so now the water potential it is always measured in a unit called bars or mega pascal so how this water potential is measured it is measured in two units one is bars and next one is mega pascal so now you have to know one thing this is one of the most important thing one mega pascal one mega pascal is equal to 10 bars so you have to just understand this thing okay so now what is the formula so all this we have seen all this kind of things now we can come to the conclusion what is the formula of a uh, water potential so the water potential is equal to solute potential plus uh, pressure potential understood so this is the water potential formula so again i am repeating water potential is equal to solute potential plus pressure potential so now 
we can even uh, solve a little uh, small problem here so regarding to this water potential so see here so in cell a the solute potential is 10 okay even if there is if even they have not mentioned a minus sign here so you have already know that so the solute potential will always be negative we have discussed about this because it is decreasing the water potential when solute is added to a pure water or a solution so that's why you have to assume that even if there is no negative sign you have to assume it is minus so you have to put a minus in front of this number so the solute potential will always be negative understood so now the solute potential of cell a is minus 10 and the pressure potential is 5 so now at the same time the cell b consists of uh, the solute solute potential is minus 7 and pressure potential is 4 so now how you will find out the uh, water potential of cell a and cell b it is so easy just apply the numeral numericals in this formula now water potential is equal to solute potential plus pressure potential now the water potential is equal to so the value of uh, solute potential is minus 10 and value of pressure potential is plus 5 now what will be the water potential it will be minus 5 and next thing is here in cell b the water to find out the water potential you have to uh, just add the solute potential plus uh, pressure potential now minus 7 plus 4 which is minus 3 so you all know in max so now uh, first of all what you are going to find out here so from which region the water is going to transport from which region so from cell a to cell b or from cell b to cell a so we can easily find out so in max what you will be learning so in when the number is in the minus value then the previous number so the minus 3 is greater than minus 5 so the water moves from cell b to cell a so because why i am saying this uh, why the water is moving from cell b to cell a because the minus 3 is greater than minus 5 so this water is moving from higher concentration to lower concentration that is from minus 3 to minus 5 from cell b to cell a understood buddies Okay, thank you.